Well, when my team first brought up Fresco to me, we were starting to get frustrated with some of the uh, costs that we were seeing associated <clears throat> with some of our longer term strategy in terms of extending systems to our citizens. Uh, we had internal uh, systems that had a lot of information that we thought would be useful for our citizens. You could come in to the city of Denver, pay for those documents uh, it, at our location, in, our, in the bricks and mortar location. We said that really doesn't make much sense. The, the cost per interaction is very high. Uh, let's reduce the cost per interaction. Let's make it more user friendly. Let's basically treat people the way they're, they're treated with other businesses in terms of um, the things you can do online. When we started looking at that model to say, let's extend this document repository. Let's extend this ability to do collaboration outside of our Denver domain. We started seeing that the cost was prohibitive. <clears throat> so Alfresco was first brought to me under the context of, hey, this is an alternative to actually do some of this long-term strategy or achieve some of this long-term strategy at a much lower cost. That was one big piece of it. Another big piece, as you mentioned, was the open source approach, which goes hand in hand <coughs> with the lower cost. Higher performance, better user interface, completely web-based. All these things came together, and my team was able to form a very, very compelling business case, which was easy for me to support. We, uh, using a, another platform in our human services environment, had taken about a year to roll out some fairly basic workflow and, and fairly basic uh, metadata uh, associated with the documents that we were interested in capturing. Just creating the object model took months. And when we look at this project in terms of combining the benefits and the approach Alfresco has together with our Scrum agile methodology together with our partnership with our business users. We had a soup to nuts project completely done, including the infrastructure, including getting people trained up in how to deploy the software in 12 weeks. Wow. So an incredible order of magnitude improvement uh, from a cost savings standpoint uh, and, a, and an ROI standpoint. I think over time, we're gonna be saving over a million dollars a year in, uh, in recurring costs just from a licensing and deployment standpoint going an open source model with Alfresco versus a proprietary model. Um, the next project that we're working on is part of a much broader initiative. We're undertaking a shared services initiative across the city for a couple of core, or several core functions, procure to pay, accounts payable, HR, 311, our citizen service, and IT. So as it relates to procure to pay, everything from the creation of a requisition all the way through to receiving the goods or services and paying an invoice, that process is federated across multiple agencies. Uh, there's some inherent problems with that process. The city recognized that. And the only way for us to be able to actually execute on that project is to have a platform that we could leverage. So we're leveraging our PeopleSoft uh, financial system, but our repository, and elements of our workflow for P2P, for procure to pay, uh, we're utilizing Alfresco for that. Certainly, when we had the conversation around this, new to us, right, not, not obviously new to the industry, but new to the city and county of Denver, what does open source mean? And I think initially uh, we had to overcome some business, not concerns necessarily, but business questions. They're used to a very, uh, non-open source model. They're used to vendors that know how to come in and sell to very specific functions in, in the public sector space. So we had to help them understand what the benefits were of going open source. The, the huge user community, the ability to share code, the ability to contribute, the ability to get people excited about being able to learn something new and contribute. So I think in general the business model, once people understood it, was very well accepted. Uh, from the support standpoint on our side, it has been extremely easy to support. I tend to hear uh, the bad, mostly, and I really have not heard anything from my team or from the users, with the exception of a couple of uh, project, uh, normal project issues around performance and conversion. But once things got into production, uh, it's been extremely smooth and uh, maintenance has, has basically been um, a non-issue. So overall, it's been a wonderful implementation for us.